His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the President of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the death of the Deputy Ruler of Fujaira, Sheikh Hamad bin Saif Al Shargi. His Majesty the King sent a similar cables of condolences to the member of the UAE Supreme Council and Fujaira Ruler, Sheikh Hamad bin Mohammed Al Shargi. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the President of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the death of the Deputy Ruler of Fujaira, Sheikh Hamad bin Saif Al Shargi. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a similar cable of condolences to the member of the UAE Supreme Council and Fujaira Ruler, Sheikh Hamad bin Mohammed Al Shargi. Also, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the UAE Supreme Council member and ruler of Fujairah, His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Mohammed Al Shargi, in which he expressed sincere condolences on the sad demise of the deputy ruler of Fujairah, Sheikh Hamad bin Saif Al Shargi. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Khal Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent cables of condolences to the United Arab Emirates President, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the death of the ruler of Fujairah, Sheikh Hamad bin Saif Al Shargi. His Royal Highness sent similar cables to the member of the UAE Supreme Council and Fujairah ruler, Sheikh Hamad bin Mohammed Al Shargi, and Fujairah Crown Prince, Sheikh Mohammed bin Hamad bin Mohammed Al Shargi the first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, honorary president of Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation and founder of Khaled bin Hamad Mixed Martial Arts Organization, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the official weighing of the fighters participating in the fourth Brave Mixed Martial Arts Championship. A total of 26 fighters will take part in the championship including Atif Muhammad, who is part of the Khaled bin Hamad's mixed martial arts team. The official weighing took place at IPIC Arena in Zayed Sports City in the presence of the President of Brave, as well as Arab and international media. His Highness expressed pleasure with the fighters' preparations and wished them success. He noted the support of the UAE Jiu-Jitsu Federation to aid the success of the event, which reflects the Federation's keenness on strengthening cooperation with Brave. Sheikh Khaled noted the aim of the championship is to travel to more countries to implement the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa of promoting the kingdom internationally at all levels, especially on the athletic front. He added that the support of the wise leadership and the developmental plan of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, will continue to enhance the mixed martial arts in Bahrain and contribute to making more athletic achievements. The fighters took a commemorative picture with His Highness Sheikh Khaled after which he inspected the site of the championship. Brave 4 Unstoppable will go down in history as the event that crowned the first ever Brave Combat Federation champion. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth, Honorary President of the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation and founder of Khalid bin Hamad Mixed Martial Arts Organization, KHK MMA, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, watched the official way check 
for the fighters participating in Brave 4 Championship for professional MMA fighters in Abu Dhabi. The weight check was conducted for 26 fighters and it was held at the IPIC Arena Hall in Zayed Sports City. Today was a weigh-in, so we were actually checking uh, the fighters' weigh-ins. This is the last day of everything before the war happens. So today was all the weight cut, all the dieting, and all the preparation. Everything is over. There's no more talking now. It's all going to be shown in the cage now. So today was uh, fighters showing their weight, and everybody made weight. There were a uh, few guys who had trouble making weight, but it was a great day, and they all looked so ready. And tomorrow will be the day we're going to see all of these guys you, you saw today making weight. So it was a great weigh-in. They were facing off. There's a lot of energy, and we just going to see these guys battle tomorrow in Brave. Brave Combat Federation has adopted a championship belt in this edition as implementation to the directive by His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The fight for the title between Algerian fighter Elias who will face Mexican fighter Masio Follen. You know, then go in the other country, too, then, go, then went in Curitiba, my city, and I, I would like to be there. They went there, but I was in Korean. And I think, I, you know, I think we need this. We need the event to give opportunity for the fighters because a lot of we keep training and don't have the opportunity where you want to fight. And I'm very happy, you know, Brave give opportunity for us. Sheikh Khalid expressed his joy with the serious preparation of the fighters and their spark of competitive displayed before the fights which reflects their keenness to deliver the best performance in this edition. His Highness also stressed his confidence with the high combat performance that will be seen in the championship that will be held today in Abu Dhabi. Reporting for Bahrain Television, this is Mohamed Janahi. In the presence of the chairman of the High Committee of Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, and Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club's Vice Chairman of the High Authority, Hisani Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the club organized today the 21st race of the season held for the Cups of the late Sheikh Rashid bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Cups of Batelco and Bahrain Olympic Committee Cups. The races took place at the club's track in Sakhir. The Supreme Council for Youth and Sports Assistant Secretary General, Abdurrahman Sadiq al saqar a number of officials, sponsors and equestrian fans attended the race. At the end of the race, trophies were presented to the winners. The Representative Council Speaker Ahmed bin Ibrahim Al Mullah and his accompanying parliamentary delegation met today with the President of the Republic of Indonesia, Joko Widodo, at the Presidential Palace in Jakarta. Al Mullah affirmed that the safety and security of the Gulf Cooperation Council countries, combating terrorism and sectarianism, and enhancing economic and investment cooperation are among the priorities of all Asian countries, stressing that achieving these demands requires serious and effective action and joint coordination. The delegation noted that their visit to Indonesia affirms the parliamentary friendship between the two countries. It also marks an opportunity for parliamentary cooperation and supports economic and investment cooperation. They conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King to his Indonesian counterpart. Mr. Al Mullah expressed thanks and gratitude to the Indonesian President for the warm hospitality and welcome, emphasizing that the Council will continue to enhance cooperation and support in various fields between the two countries. <laughs> 